Hello everyone, San Bonani, Dumelang, Abshen, Mulwen, Tobel, Ah, Lochani. Dear South Africans, you all need to wake up before it's too late. At least at this point, you can see that politicians are selling us as a country. The employers are also selling us. The youth needs to stand up and fight for this country. 15 people have died in Soweto Tavern and they were shot brutally. Rumor has it that they were shot and killed by armed national foreigners, allegedly. South Africa is under attack. The youth should stop drinking and taking drugs. We need to unite and solve the real problems because in a minute, South Africa can be gone. Tanta Lux, the leader of Operation Dudula, has also reacted on the mass shooting that took place in Soweto Orlando Tavern and he blames the politicians and police for the mass shooting. The truth of the matter is that we need to stop blaming each other and stop teaching about our problems. Let's come up with solutions to save Save our country. Watch what Ntlanta Lux had to say. Hey. For those who don't know Nomza, it's in between Orlando and Pindi. The spot I can be in between there. So there's a, there's a quantum that came in the wee hours of the morning, Gospoto, and opened fire, rifle, similar style to how they killed the island. Um, in, in chicken farm cooking field. So I'm actually not not the happiest guy this morning because we can't have South Africans dying and it's normalized. We have one foreigner die. We have like Elvis Nyat. Totally just eight funerals in South Africa. But South Africans is normalized. We can die a very young child. That's what it is. But this effort from the NEC, she's here. General Mawela is here. We'll see what comes out of it. When I did the Black Marai, when I did the forensic van that pick up uh, dead bodies, there's 14 dead bodies, South African bodies lying there. They need to be picked up and be thrown in a government watcher and thrown in a hole and put a right side and we forget about this thing. But uh, again, I must emphasize the foreigners, boy Elvis Nyati. Who killed like someone saying that? That's not even his real name, Lena Narregile IT. So now I don't sympathize with nonsense. This is nonsense. Our our people are not armed. The enemy is armed and it's heavily armed. And the police are under resourced. So where does that leave us? Where does that leave us? It leaves us with, with honestly taking a decision that says that one, the police must move from service back to force. It must be a police force. Because the police in Zimbabwe, the police in the Sudan. The police, I'm just mentioning here, neighboring countries, some of them don't even carry guns. They, their presence is authority now to stop nonsense. Our police in South Africa, they get slapped around by both South Africans and foreigners. They are useless in the books of many people. So this nonsense of our police behaving like they, uh, or maybe being forced to behave, we are, we are providing a service. This is not a border concourse center. We're not providing no service here. What service you provide? We must provide a force so that can go against the other forces that are killing our people. The police service. Give police service. Our Martha Solvers community. Give police service. police service. Our Martha Solvers community. Give police service. Give Share your thoughts on this one, people. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.